Skidmore is a, a small liberal arts college in the Northeast. Uh, we're very proud of, of what we do here. We, we focus on a liberal education. Our mission is to provide students with what we would call a transformative experience over their four years with us, to, to find uh, their capacity to learn uh, at a, a much higher level than they would have imagined when they came in. And to have students uh, have experience uh, in laboratory research that's directly related to a real problem, that is health and safety of firefighters, is a great way of bringing those themes together. With over 20 scientific papers and dozens of national presentations, Skidmore's First Responder Health and Safety Laboratory is an acknowledged leader in the area of firefighter health and safety. And the lab personnel are passionate about sharing their findings with the fire service. Our students have the opportunity to be engaged in rigorous scientific research. From that, they develop into young scientists that move on into um, their PhD careers or medical careers and then move on to addressing the needs of the first responder health and safety community. The research we do in the first responder health and safety laboratory in the applied sense really lets you take what you learn on the book level and apply it directly not only to a subject but to a population. Working in the first responder health and safety laboratory was uh, something where I actually had an impact and I could do something for uh, the fire service in this situation. It really um, meant a lot to me to feel that empowered or that involved. The First Responder Health and Safety Laboratory is part of the Department of Health and Exercise Sciences at Skidmore College. And it's a laboratory devoted to understanding the physiological consequences of firefighting and strategies or technologies we might use to mitigate the cardiovascular risk. Sudden cardiac events are the leading cause of duty-related deaths in the fire service. Approximately 50% of all duty-related deaths are due to sudden cardiac events. Other forms of injury on the fire ground, smoke inhalation, burn injuries, those are relatively low, accounting for approximately 10% or less in most years. We're hoping that the research we do can be part of the fire service implementing policies, procedures, and training that will lessen cardiovascular events in the fire service. Saratoga Springs Fire Department has been a wonderful partner for us. They're always willing to participate in the research projects we're doing in the laboratory. The chief, the union, always willing to talk to me to make sure I understand the context of the work we're doing. Saratoga Springs Fire Department protects Skidmore College. Skidmore College, through their research, protects Saratoga Springs firefighters. The Saratoga Springs Fire Department has, has partnered with Skidmore College and Denise Smith uh, to develop and to promote physical fitness in the fire service. Her research in um, personal protective gear and the tasks associated with firefighting and the effects on the body has, uh, has helped us to, to identify and develop action plans. We're doing a series of studies in our laboratory. If I were to characterize them, they are those studies related to the underlying physiology so that we know what happens to an individual's heart, vascular system, and blood under conditions of heat stress and dehydration. The work that the first responder uh, program does here is critical in helping us to understand what we can do to reduce those line of duty deaths and those uh, cardiac related events that, that disable us as firefighters. I started here as a participant in one of the studies a couple years ago when Dr. Smith was beginning her studies and uh, they were looking for uh, people to participate uh, in a study and I offered my services. Uh, it's been very rewarding uh, because I've learned a lot uh, about myself for one, but I've learned a lot about uh, what we do as firefighters that can sometimes hurt us and the effects of dehydration and how that leads, leads to an increase in, in cardiac related events that can lead to line of duty deaths and try to reduce that. The other major focus of our laboratory is looking at PPE and technologies in ways they might be used to mitigate the strain of firefighting. I think research is, is critical in um, design and, and functionality of, of our personal protective equipment. The more we know and understand the effects on the body, the better the material, the better the design, the better the uh, purpose we can use to, to help facilitate what we do as firefighting. And these coils on your shirt send the cold water all the way through your chest to go along your back as well. Um, all research uh, requires collaborations. We work very, very closely not only with the fire service but also with academic partners. 
And we also work very closely with national fire service organizations. All of these federal agencies that are trying to protect firefighters or increase their health and safety issues have to be part of the solution. Federal funding is essential for the research we conduct, and we're particularly grateful to FEMA, AFG, and DHS, s and for their support of this work, and in fact, for their support of the critical research needed in the fire service. The first responder community is one of the most important communities uh, for the DHS enterprise. And from science and technology, we try to support that community as much as we can. We're very proud of working with Professor Denise Smith at Skidmore because the work that she is doing within the phaser program, the overall phaser program, is critically important in terms of understanding the physiological effects, things like dehydration, stress levels, and what is happening to the first responder community so that we can better manage um, their use and uh, help them be safe as they respond to these incidents.